Tururun. Ludi. Just do. Mmm. <laughs> 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 Twinks and Brunettes and welcome to chapter 8 of A Mid Stranger Night's Dream. Now some things have happened off screen while I was playing some households to get them to winter that I feel might be important to mention. So Kristen had a quick fling with this townie here. I don't think it's a big thing that's gonna be forever. And Aaron, of course, still can't let Butterfly Jones go. <laughs> Chloe and Lola are both still kind of like involved with Abajit, which is a little bit weird, but it's okay. And Chloe's also gotten closer to Oberon, which is interesting, seeing as I picture him and Titania to be an open couple. There's nothing scandalous there. <laughs> Lola also wanted to throw a party, so I had her invite all her friends, which included Antonio Monti, baby girl, you know? And then she rolled the one to woohoo, so I used him for that. <laughs> I don't know if that's gonna be anything, because it's just fun for now, and I don't know if Antonio's there emotionally, you know? You know. So here we are in the Grunt house. Today I'm gonna send my boys to university and we're gonna play until winter basically. He's hiding something. Can't fool me with your beautiful French pastries. They both want to sneak out with Tybalt like, okay rebel boy go, you know? But you can't. He's in the household bin for university. Rip's grades are improving. Wow boy. I need to make you ignore those homework. <laughs> Fuck that. We don't want that. Look at my sweetie boy. Oh, he stopped cheering when I tried to show you. Well, fuck my drag, right? I don't like Jill without her alien eyes. It doesn't look right. We're really vibing in this house while, oh, when General Buzz is in here talking about the wolf. Here he comes. Fuck right off. 
Oh, it's time to send Tank to university and it's also going to be Buck's birthday right about now. And I think I should have him age up before Tank leaves. Want him to see his little brother. Also, Jill is here, so it would facilitate some things that I might want to happen. Come eat with everyone. He wants to work on the car. You can do that while your child ages up because I know how much you care. All right, but let's go blow out the candles. Now, Buck being as shy, serious, and neat as he is, I'm going to make him a knowledge sim. This is strange town after all, you know, home to the knowledge sims. Oh, my, well, I want, I really want to support you. <laughs> you know, like I'm really trying. I'm, I'm, I'm trying here. I think I'll have him buy some clothes, you know, no reason. Just, just as a principle. This will be fine. I just don't want this right now, you know? Oh, Joe wants to oh, hold my hands. Okay. I'm not, I, I do like a woman taking charge. Rip is sneaking out in his pajamas and Albany Cap is in my living room. Don't ask. Ah, shit. They got in trouble. Oh, where are you? What? What? What was that? Now that's tea. Now it's only Tank awake, and what a coincidence, because he's leaving early for college today. Bye, hope nothing too life-changing happens for you in college. That will make your father hate you. Or do I not hope that happens, actually? He's so happy working on his trash fucking car. Good for you. Anything that takes him away from the kids. It's time for Buck to be a little bit rebellious and have a little sneak out with Jill. And right before he goes, we have a little coffee. Just to make sure that we don't die of sleepiness. <laughs> Got a home unscathed. God, this helicopter is already getting on my nerves. Very much, very badly. This is, Halicap keeps calling him, but they don't like each other. I don't know what the, you know? Gotta clean up the house before the general gets mad. Come on. Oh, Rip. Rip is like autonomously apologizing to Buck. Why did they, did they just lose their... I think he- I think Buck got mad because Rip got a puddle of water on the floor. Just, you know, we all have different standards, I guess. Oh! I didn't even see that she was here! <laughs> well, yeah, ye, ye kids go crazy. I don't think the general would like it, but he's not saying anything right now. Oh, well, okay. Yeah, though, I mean, was- I was just waiting for it at that point. Well, that's very nice. Hi, Laszlo. You want to win the Will Wright Genius Grant. Eight points of logic, we can do that. And you're on the phone with Romeo, what's, oh, whatever. It's like I'm not controlling them anymore. They just do whatever the fuck they want to do. Doing yard work in the middle of the night, as any sane person would do. All right, got to six points of logic in a single evening. <laughs> I'd say that's pretty good. Let's paint this beast this morning. Still looks pretty busted, but I'm gonna trust the process. <laughs> oh, oh, well, would you look at that? It is now an awesome customized car, and I will sell it and put back the old junk shit again. We're making money, baby. Oh, Olive just stole my newspaper while cackling like a witch. Oh my god, Rip. Your grades are slipping. Whatever are we gonna do? Right. Right. I mean, that is one activity that you could be doing, I guess. Oh, Jill is here. Hi, Jill. Oh, they just fell in love. Oh, wow. And it's Rip's birthday, so he's gonna be- Oh, sorry, you're naked, honey. <laughs> so he's gonna be able to go to university. If he wants to go. Oh, shit, he just set fire to the fucking house. That's great. But yeah, uh, while this fire burns, I'd be open not to send him to university. He's one of the few ones that, that I wouldn't mind. We'll see, though. The night is still young. Oh yeah, and Rip also stole Tank's room because it has a bathroom, so. And there we go, he's got eight points in logic just like that. We love a genius. Alright, I think I'm going to send him to college. He might fail, and that's gonna be funny, so. And he's going to bed. Good night, Buzz. I don't know how they get all these bushes to grow in the sand there. That's pretty impressive, to be honest. I feel that without Tank at home, Buzz kind of, um, gave up. On the sons he does have left. I think he knows there's nothing to do with Rip. And that Buck isn't the working out type. So he's taking a chill, you know. Working on his car. Doing lawn work. Plotting. <laughs> oh, he just made hot dogs. The great American food. 
gastronomy, some people would call it. Depends how good your hot dogs are, really. Some people oversell their hot dogs. He wants his cell phone this morning. Let's get him that. And it is now winter, so I can get the hell out of here. Cool. Cool. Welcome back everyone. We're now playing in the Monty family in Veronaville. It is the middle of the night. The party has just finished. Mercutio just came back home from hanging out with Tybalt in the kind of forest that I made next to the summer camp. <laughs> and now everyone is sleeping. It's almost the morning and today is Mercutio's birthday. As mentioned multiple times before, Mercutio is not going to university so I'm gonna have him age up in this episode. So he'll go for his last day of school today. It's a Friday. We got home pretty late for a school night, but <laughs> they have good beds. So it explains everything. I wanted them to have family breakfast, but Isabella decided she's not hungry. So thank you for ruining this family. Oh, Oberon and Titania are here. Hello. I'm in my PJ. Sorry for the, <laughs> the rudeness I've just done. We're gonna take care of the garden with Patricio like we do every time because there's not much else to do. But at least there is that to do. I really feel the pressure right now. I have a fish. His name is Mercutio. And... <laughs> I should stop there, really. But he's going crazy. Like, he's just swimming around his tank like ultimate 100 speed. So if you hear some splish splashes, that's Mercutio. Real life Mercutio, not this one. Oh, it's raining. <laughs> Jay, stop. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> oh, that was not a good idea, Mercutio. <laughs> I, I appreciate very much that you feel closer to him now, but you need to know. No, 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 no. That's not okay. Your brother is going to fucking beat his ass. <laughs> Just, you can't do that. Not yet, at least. <laughs> Isabella is like tempting the, the, the lightning gods. Don't play with your grandson. No, stop, Isabella. I've just invited Bianca for Mercutio's birthday and she wanted to take Kent with her. So now first Mercutio takes Tybalt from school and then she wants to bring Kent over. They're really they're trying to give that poor man a heart attack is what they're trying to do. And look what he wants right now. You got me fucked up. Come on in quickly because we'll all die out here. Antonio was being a good son. He wanted to bring Lola with him, but I said, no, you are not bringing your fling over <laughs> to this birthday party right now. That's not a good idea. Well, it's not technically a birthday party. It's just going to be like having people over at the house because I don't think Patricia wants to actually have a party. Somehow, I don't think that's a style. Could be more of Isabella's style. All right, and I think it's time for the cake. In all my years of playing The Sims 2, I have never seen the pre-made teens from Veronaville age up to adults. It It's the first time that I've ever had that happen. <laughs> I've played Strange Town a little bit more than Veronaville, but I don't know. I'm really into it now, so I'm happy to be able to see it. You look cool as fuck. <laughs> What's that outfit? You look like Romeo. <laughs> That outfit! Alright, we need to change things up now. Oh, I like that. But I, I want him to keep like his little wavy. His little wavy stuff going on. <laughs> that could work. That's a bit more of wavy stuff going on. 
I have this. No. <laughs> I think I'm going to give him this for now. It's just like he got his hair cut and now he's throwing it back because he doesn't know what to do with it. <laughs> right. I think that's the new look. That's what we're going with. Judge oh, you me. like it? Good. <laughs> and I don't know. I kind of like this outfit. Maybe it's his new adult vibe. I mean, I don't ask me why. It just is. He's allowed to try things. Romeo's decided to harm his grandmother. We all wish we could do that sometimes. What? I had Mercutio change his uh, lifetime watch. Sorry. He's pissing. Oh my god. To becoming a celebrity chef. It's closer to what he actually wants to do because what I want him to do is work in the family restaurant that I'm gonna have an actual physical restaurant that Antonio is going to be like the the boss of and that's where he's gonna work but for now we're just gonna leave it like that with the basic career man Titania's really making herself at home get off my computer yeah the culinary job was there so he's gonna have that for now and when he can switch then we'll switch <laughs> Simple as. So today is Saturday, no school for Romeo, and I've been thinking of working on his wants. I want him to get things back with Miranda. Miranda asked me if I wanted to have this date at home. Do you want to die today? All right, here we are. Seeing as they're young and probably don't have that much pocket money, I took them to a park. <laughs> ah, there we go, big smooch. Well, they're making out by the road now. I think everything's going fine and dandy. I'm hearing slapping noises, but I don't know who's slapping who. Oh, there. Oh, it's Crystal and Cersei. Of course, that's another thing. <laughs> well, it's a dream date, so I'm gonna end it there. What is beyond? Okay, she's in her bathing suit. I was wondering what the hell she was wearing. Where's the phone box here? I, I wanna, I wanna go home. Where's the phone <laughs> box? There it is. And when we get back home, it is Mercutio's first day of work in about 50 minutes. So let's eat your croissant very fast. There he goes. No uniform, just shows up to work like this. I mean, they won't mind. That's typical line cook, like, dress. <laughs> I'm gonna try to remember to have Mercutio put all of his paychecks away because eventually he's gonna have to stop living in this ranch and I would like him to have some money. Well, I realized I didn't have an ACR adjuster in this house, and as soon as I added it, they decided that they were going to get at it. Which, you know, I mean, good for them. Are you done? Congrats. What this house really needs right now with all of these elders is a coffee machine. That has become invaluable to me. Oh, you burnt it? Well, no. You know what? We have higher standards than this, and it's not like anyone is starving right now, so start over girly make us proud yeah there you go there we are now this this is a life Ooh, you've been promoted hi hi <laughs> this feels so weird he's too big you're too big it's not right i think i'm watering them a whole lot for cacti like that cannot be good Ooh, someone is calling for mercutio Oh, it's Benedict. Hi. I'm gonna put that away in Romeo's inventory quickly before anyone else sees it. He's done watering his garden. Beautiful stuff. Oh, wait. I was looking through his relationships to see who he could call. Romeo, that is. And I've just realized that he doesn't have any, like, hatred for Tybalt anymore. That is very interesting. But it also sucks because there's pretty much nobody he can call, like of his age group, because they're all in the waiting thing to go to university. <laughs> oh, that's a cool outfit you have on. We're turning around hot dogs a lot this episode, and I love it. So it's Romeo's birthday at 6 p.m. tomorrow, so I'm going to send him to university because, yes, Romeo is going. I'm not sure he'll stay the whole time, but he's going. And also, congratulations, my man. I just realized that I've never seen Claudio or Olivia out. In the cat manner, Cordelia's out every other night breaking my fucking lamps. Alright, last day of school for Romeo. This is all very exciting. He's talking to his grandma about death. Oh, pop. Okay. I don't know what, what, what it, it was exactly that he was trying to bring up, but I don't think it went the way he wanted it to go. Bye-bye, Romeo. AJ? Okay, yeah, he's available. Weird, but okay. 
I'm not going to record my cap round with Albany and Miranda and all of that because honestly I don't think anything's gonna happen in it but I'm gonna show you the little bit at the end where we see um, Gonorel and Albany's fifth and last child the baby is born the child is alive <laughs> the child exists and Gonorel is gonna ship it off to Albany as soon as the round is over so I'll show that and then I think that's gonna be it for the video soon enough. As soon as Romeo comes back from school I'm gonna send him to university. As soon as it switches to winter it's baby teasing time. Okay Romeo is back from school and he's smelling the cacti. I don't know what you're hoping to smell there buddy. But it's time for you to go to college. Look at him strut his stuff. He's going to wreck so much havoc. Oh and of course I've completely forgotten to have Mercutio put his money away. I think he should deserve a chunk of money from his parents passing. So I'm going to have him start with a 5,000 and then I'll add his paychecks to that. I swear. <laughs> I mean, it must be so boring to live with these two old asses. Like alone now too. <laughs> All right, it's winter, so it's gonna be it for this household. Also, I think I'm gonna remove winter from Veronaville and Strangetown. I don't find that it makes a lot of sense to have winter to begin with. I think I'm gonna start talking in terms of first season, second season, third season, and fourth, because I am going to make this spring and this summer again. So it's going to be summer, fall, spring, and then summer again. So there's going to be two summers in a row. And I'm going to do the same thing for Strange Town. Like, of course, there can be a colder period of the year, but I don't think there should be heavy snow or like very cold temperatures. Okay, so here is the baby teasing. Don't judge my the hard time I seem to be having juggling with the camera. But here he is. He looks a lot like daddy. He's little daddy's boy. It's a boy. And his name is Marginus because I looked up and they they do Goneril and the Duke of Albany do have a, ch a ca can canonical child and his name is Marginus. So that there you go. That's his name. And you see Miranda passing by with her new purple hair. Desdemona aged up. I kept her very ethereal, very f like fairy-like look going. And look at this braid in her hair with the flowers. It's perfect for her. Hal also age up and I'll let you guess who he's trying to emulate, who he's like the, the biggest fan of in the family, I guess. The, Hal is our new attack dog. Ariel is a child also. I kept her pretty androgynous, kind of like disheveled look going that she had as a toddler and last but not least i'll show you miranda up close she's sleeping on the couch poor thing yeah i changed her hair changed her glasses changed her clothes i think she looks a lot cooler like that so thank you all for watching again i know these videos are few and far between they take so much longer to make than I thought they would. I'm extremely sorry for that. I really hoped to be able to push one out like every two weeks. But if I want to make other videos in the meantime, that's not possible, unfortunately. But I hope that it's still fun for you and that you still enjoyed this video. As always, I love you and I care about you. Please follow me on all of my social medias. They will be linked down below as well as my Kofi if that is something that could interest you. I've been going through a really rough patch lately and I want to thank all of my recent donors 1000 times. Like I am so infinitely grateful. I don't even know how to like put it in words. And as always, sleep tight. Don't let the bud light bite. Bye.